Hello YouTube, this is Alzoru, and wow, my FPS is really low right now. <laughs> As you can see, I've had a bit of a redesign for my villager trading hall, or at least a good chunk of it. This was done primarily by a Cheshire smile, although I did also oh, do a bit my... Hey, Self, like, I kind of designed it and he built it for me. I mean, he knew how to build it already, but... Bah! I'm rambling. I just need to zombify this guy. Don't really have the potions for it at the moment, though. Anywho, welcome, everyone, to another episode on the Globecraft Season 6 server, where I have been able to get a lot more golden carrots. But because of help from Chess, I've been able to actually stock, like, properly stock my hey, gold and carrot supply. It's far more than just a couple of bits at this point. In fact, let me show you exactly how well I've been doing. But first, I should really need to po deposit my diamonds. No, dang it. Right, riches box. And also show you guys the kinds of deals I can get with just doing all this. Right, I already got all of this, guys. You've probably also noticed that I have over 50 levels, and a lot of that has been from trading with these guys and messing around with my, my creeper farm. You can also see that I've begun trying to plan out where, where my jungle village is eventually going to be. Though I must admit, I have struggled with that a little bit. Creating a jungle village in a creative test world is one thing, but actually working with the environment and in where trees are is a completely different beast. Ah. We oh my. That was quite a chunk error. But yeah, I've already spent a little time. I'm having a uh, friendly chat with my fellow oh, carrot seller. Her fluffy kins. Fluffy. He sins. Uh, fluffy. I'll just call them fluffy. Wherein I may or may not I'd have shot them. Now. To make things perfectly clear, I'm not actually he upset, at least not anymore, that, that Fluffy is just, you know, doing the same thing that I am. I mean, especially now that I can and actually he keep up and compete. Like, now that I've actually been able to get everything a bit more, uh, I don't think organized is quite the right word, but now that I have a better position, or rather, I'm in a better position, and 
I suspect things will go better for me. It's amazing how quickly my rockets sell, which is good for me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait, I've already he read that. I'm silly. Chess is away for a bit. It's, so uh, I'm hoping to help him, uh, mess around with keeping this place stocked. I can't restock everything, unfortunately. But I can restock a fair few things. Just making sure there aren't any he doymens to be had. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely th think that there has been some progress around here. The question is, is it time for the fan to want to make another appearance, and also, what is with this bee? Oh, of course, it just, uh, those honey blocks another, and honeycomb by the looks of it. I still think that whatever Kippy is doing is kind of illegal, but hey, I'm not one of the ma- It's like, it does kind of break the rules, though. Well, at least as far as I can tell, like... Okay, so the rules of the shopping district, as I understand them, is that you're not allowed to have a general store. Your shop has to have some sort of a theme. Eh? You're only allowed up to three shops. What Kippy is doing is that he's got a shop that has multiple floors, some of which have different themes. Which, in my opinion, is still basically a general store when you get down to it. It's just the, some of the floors have different themes to the... Um, which, I guess, kind of bends the rules in a way. Not that Kippy's been a... I don't know anything, but still... Then again, it kind of seems like not a lot of people like Kippy. From my experience, and Kippy did like one nice thing for me. He and uh, also one and not so nice thing for me. Like at one point, he kind of threatened to kill me. He, although nothing ever came of it, and at a different point during the mod hit season, which was admittedly quite short, he sold me an elytra for a pretty decent pro. He saw things considered. So, I have mixed feelings on Kippy myself. So it seems like our biggest rival in by R, I mean mine in chess, is actually more mouse who opened the, his bookshop up at a rather interesting time. Oh, what's all this? It looks like this one hasn't had anything done with it yet. If this wasn't a mushroom island, this thing would be filled with mobs. Mark my words. Hmm. 
This is neat. Ah, oh, that's sweet. That could come in handy, actually. On the other hand, I don't really want to give money to more mouse, consider I think he's kind of our biggest competitor at the moment, so um mm, cool. Oh, hey, it's Appa. Peep it, sheep. Oh, peeing a sheep. Well, that makes more sense than also, oh my lord. Head spike. My goodness. Hmm. So this person is actually buying stuff. And I do actually have a villager her head back at my house, so that could be a quick diamond for me. Oh, I didn't realize this chest is actually on. Did I take the wrong path? Nope, this is the right one. Whew! <laughs> That's actually a very good question. come here again? Huh. I always hate it when I forget what I'm doing. Oh well. Maybe I'll think about it when I'm doing something else. I remember now. There we go. <laughs> and while I'm at it, I did it also collect quite a bit of sugar cane to turn into pepper. And all my paper traders are down here. I need to move at least one of these guys up there and turn them into a zombie. But first I'm gonna need the potions for that. I'll probably do that off camera. Working with villagers is a massive pain in my tail. Oops.
There. Easiest diamond I ever made. <laughs> Who owns this thing anyway? Oh. Four heads. Well, crud. Um, well, I do have a solution for this, though I'm not sure if Lorna will be okay with it. And again, Lorna's barely been up and for a while now. It's another her day, another her villager to be yeah, zombified. Okay. Uh, Speaking of which, where is my zombie okay. anyway? Beautiful. Uh, oh, sorry, bonus action. I swear I'm gonna figure out what dice to use by the end of this campaign. Uh, four. Beautiful. Mm. Well, she hated that a lot. I'm <laughs> sure she did. And then I'm just gonna say to her again. So she said no. I don't care. And you all are just in machine gun range as she unleashes the burning hands on all of you. I need a sex save. Ooh. Yeah. Natural 20. Ooh, well played. It's an eight, but I do have plenty of fire resistance. <laughs> and I get to add a d4. Ah, yeah! yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's below, but I'll have your damage. How'd you do? Seventeen. Well, okay. Plus D4. Did you add? That's the D4. Okay. okay. Um, this says I have advantage against oh, spells and I'd other like. magical effects. Does, does this count? This does count. This okay. Is a spell being cast at your whole shit. Okay, that's one extra, so eighteen. Yeah. Okay, and eighteen makes it. So. Uh, all three of you. No, no, no. You didn't make it, but you have fire resistance. Mm -hmm. But that still means all of you are going to take shit. Seven points of fire damage. Ooh, that I halved it already. Oh, oh boy. It was that's 14 halved. points. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Seven? Halved to seven. Okay. Hey, man, that's not nothing at level two. Oh, boy. <laughs> so squishy. <laughs> I think that I'd be halfway gone. And she oh, turns God. and looks at you very specifically. I've never killed you before. This will be fun. It certainly will. Amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, and now Mister well, is going to get into that it, right? Worked out. Sorry, bad Mister. Oh no, but Sinister bad. Mister <laughs> is going to leap at good Mister. <gasps> no. Oh shit! What a natural twenty. Ooh, oh no! Oh no, no Mister! I still need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I> <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stop, he's gonna police murder. <laughs> <laughs> he takes oh, wait a minute. Uh, he takes six points of bludgeoning damage as he sort of tackles. I forgot I was. I had a, a video in the background. Um, uh, I've been watching Exantria Unlimited as it's been going on. Well, not as it's been going on. Like I watch each video a couple of days. Is late because I, I don't really have the time to tune into the actual streams. This is the second time I've done something like this. Wow, I'm unprofessional. <laughs> With apologies to the Critical Role crew, you guys are awesome. I haven't even tried to monetize these videos, but uh... Bruh. That's one video that's not getting... That I'm not getting anybody from. <laughs> uh, I need an editor. Ladies and gentlemen, the Alzora Villadora presents the most unprofessional YouTuber ever. Ah, well, I may not be the highest quality, but at least I'm not. Hot Jake slash Logan Paul. Low hanging fruit? Yes. Do they deserve it? Also, yes.
Boing, boing, and boing, 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 and boing. All right. I need to figure out some kind of mischief to cause next episode. Maybe next episode is when and I'll do some more stuff with the Phantom. But I need to figure out what to do with the Phantom. But after all, I definitely need to do something more than just... And... Uh, causing minor inconveniences for my own business partner. Maybe Chess will try to sell him some of those. I know I get give Chess some dark oak wood and also Acacia. We Either way, poor Baz. Baz is cool. I just love my jungle home. Oh, uh, by the way, I have a parrot. I haven't named him, but I have a parrot. Need to buy a name tag at some point. Also, I should bother my mending villager. Let's see if I can and unlock all of his trades. After all, he's been zombified at least once. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do have a lot of, of book and quills, but uh, I have a plan with those. Uh, oh, you guys haven't seen that, have you? Uh, well, this is going to require a short trip and a short explanation. Well, maybe not a short explanation, but an explanation. And now, through the meh. Magic of pausing the recording and restarting. I'm at the so far pretty barren entertainment district. And right now, the literal only thing here is this a dragon head created by yours truly. Not meant to resemble me in any way, but. You might be. He wondering, three diamonds to enter what? Well, this actually has something to do with something I did hit in Globecraft Season 5, which you guys didn't get to see. Alzoru's Treasure Hunt. Something I tried to do in a city craft, but it never really took off there. However, in Globecraft Season 5, it was a hit. So, what the basic gist is, is that uh, had people, like, you know, pay, pay three diamonds to enter, and uh, out of every three diamonds, I take one. So, two-thirds of the diamonds are left behind. And what? Hell, uh, I only pocket a third of them. What happens to the other diamonds? Ah, uh, I hide them someplace, and then, and, ah. Uh, they make a trail of clue it was across the server, her placing them in sh s eh, and leading people to those clues with a bunch of riddles. You know, I really don't need these. I'm just gonna check them out here. No. So yeah, now you got his know that the hunt is not exactly on, but it will be. 
unfortunately, I can't show you guys where I'm going to be hiding the treasure or its clues. Aside from the very first clue, which will just kind of be in the in a chest. I also need to figure out where I'm going to bury the treasure because I'm not entirely sure just yet. I don't think it's a good idea to hide it at any one specific base. Mostly because- OH DEAR! Mostly because it's early season. And it's always a bit more active than late season. And someone might just find the treasure at their base if I just put it there. And then what? So I'm going to, have to be a bit more clever with where I hide my treasure. So with that happy being said and taken care of, I think uh, I'll end the episode here, and uh, all of you who behave yourselves, see ya. But, oh, come on, there we go. Like I said, see ya.